it's their homecoming, it's at their place. I'm kind of excited to see it. I have a lot of respect for what the Naval Academy is, what they stand for, and how their kids play. Um, you know, they beat people because they play harder than people and they're smarter than people. And I want our guys to, to play harder than them and be smarter. And that's a challenge for us, so we're going to have to prepare for it this week. Yeah, I, I love option football. Uh, you know, I, I lived it. I feel like option quarterbacks now are kind of like giant pandas. You know, they, they only exist in zoos and uh, military academies now. Um, they got a good one. I think he, he's what makes their offense go. Um, he's a tough runner. He's smart, makes good decisions. Um, I, I always root for option teams and option quarterbacks because of my background. Yeah, I think in some ways, if we were to play Georgia Tech, it would have been an advantage for this one in some ways, probably not. Um, it would have given, given us a, a chance to get a good look at it and, and play against a, good, a team that's really really good at doing it. Uh, on the flip side of that, Navy would have seen our approach to trying to stop it and uh, been game planning for it. Um, sometimes with our offense, we get into games and teams are playing us a lot different than what we'd seen on tape before. I think Navy goes through that on every game because there's not a lot of tape that they can dial up to say, oh, this is how they play these formations and triple options. So um, they're going to have to make adjustments during the game. They're really good at it. Um, so I think there were some positives and negatives to, in, in regards to this game uh, since we missed that last week. Well, I think you can make too much of it, to be honest with you. Every time we line up against another team, uh, it's assignment football. You know, I have the A gap, I have the B gap, I have the quarterback on the zone read, I have the running back. Um, this is no different. I think it just it's it's a different way of presenting it. Um, this is a really good team, uh, and I don't mean to say it as we're taking them lightly or, or not excited uh, for the challenge, but uh, we're also not going to make too much of the fact that they run a different offense. Uh, our, our defensive players have to play hard and fast and um, play assignment football just like they do any other week. Um, like he, I, he, I was just asked the same question. I think as far as execution, and we had a couple of mental busts on Saturday that we need to clean up, and knowing the game plan and knowing what we need to get done, and being more physical. I think as far as an offensive line, we had a, we had a lot of knockdowns on Saturday, which is which is what we're going for. We want to be physical and tough, and I think we can grow a lot in that department too. Yeah, um, I think it's not scared of success. I think it's embracing it and knowing that we're not happy yet. We're not. We're never going to be complacent. You know, you, you never. Want to, um, complacency is is a bad word in our locker room, and you know we we never want to get there. We never want to be happy with where we are, and uh, I think as far as we, if we never reach that, then we'll be fine. You know, we just got to keep working and keep keep building on these things. Uh, just different keys. That's how coach explained it to us, and that's how we taking it in. Just different keys that we have to read. You know, they have different options each and every play. They can hand it to the fullback, quarterback, keeper, or they can pitch it, or it might be a play action, but we just stand tuned in, dial into our keys, and make sure everybody doing their assignment. So going into the week, that's all we focus on. Yeah, that's it. Is, it's, it feels real good, you know, because every college football is more of a spread, spread kind of um, system now. So going back into the triple option is feels like going to old school football that you used to watch. So um, being a part of that is big. Yes, uh, I think people we all know that. So it's like we rank 20. Yeah, that's great, but you get nothing for it. So why not just keep on pushing until you get what you want? And which is what that's the that's the message we're all giving each other. So. I like where our mindset is as a team. I mean, it's, it's exciting when you're going to get some new offense. You know, we've been going to get spread offense and speed so much, and now we can actually get to slow it down a little bit and, you know, get a more aggressive when it comes to the run. And, you know, you got guys like Jemias Pittman, Tony Garrod, and Tristan Hill who's, who's ready to get down and dirty with the run. And, you know, I'm kind of excited for them because I want, I'm ready to stick my head in there also. So it's, it's going to be a fun game, and it's going to be very aggressive. But I feel like, you know, we got big guys in front of us who's, who's excited to get down and dirty. You know what? I'm right along with them. The whole thing is we got to be able, as a defense, Defense, but, you know, when it comes to third down, you know, it's very important that, you know, we, we got to always tell my defense boss up because when third down and it's third and short, you know, you can't, you, you just can't just be up there holding up blocks and looking around. You got to be able to get in there because obviously there's going to be a running team and they're going to try to overpower us and we got to be ready. And Coach Frost always said, take the attack to them. And I think that's going to be our plan this, this week is make sure that we don't, we don't be the ones who be in attack, but we've been the ones who, who's doing all the attacking.